What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a fan favorite. We got ourselves from Generation 4 Luxray for ranked regulation age. Now, Luxray is one of the dopest Pokemon of all time. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I feel like anybody who has played Diamond or Pearl or even Platinum has used this on their playthrough team at least once. And for good reason. Again, its design is phenomenal. We all love electric types. It's just such a good Pokemon all around. But we're using it on the rank ladder today. Looking to grab some wins for you guys. Let's talk about this build. Luxray's got Intimidate, which is one of the best abilities in all of Pokemon. It's got Citrus Berry as item, Rock and Nick Grass Terror type, with Wild Charge, Snarl, Helping Hand, and it also has Ice Fang to deal with Dragon types. Like I said, really dope Pokemon. Definitely an off meta choice, but we're going to be using it and definitely grabbing some wins for you guys. Other Pokemon on today's team features the Meta Squad. We got King Gambit, we got Primarina, Rillaboom, Choice Span Dragonite, and Choice Specs Dragapult. Dragapult going to be able to do big time special attacking damage. Dragonite's going to be able to do big time physical attacking damage. Rillaboom's able to set the terrain, fake out, and do big time damage with Grass Glide or Woodhammer. And then Primarina's over here with Haze Protect, Hyper Voice, and Moonblast. Can't really go wrong with this Pokemon. It has great typing, learns great moves, can do respectable damage it's just a great all-around pokemon our final pokemon king gambo my boy defiant can counter incineroars and other intimidate pokemon black glasses to make it do more damage this one's also rocking sword stance to boost his attack then we got sucker punch cow talc leave and protect like i said great team all around the meta squad with the five and then we got luxray with which is our off meta pick guys you want to run the team for yourself Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Luxray. First match on its way, and look at this team that we're going up against. Really cool off meta team with Hypno, Emboar, Scizor, then they got Gardevoir, Hisuian Samurai, and Weirdir. So, pretty dope team. Luckily, we're using Luxray today. I am going to use it in this battle. But I don't know if I should lead it. I mean, they got a lot of really good Pokemon. I could go Dragapult. I feel like Dragapult's a good lead. Same thing with uh, King Gambit. Because I feel like we, if we could set up a Sword Stance, we could be really powerful. We could really just start shredding. So I am going to end up going into King Gambit for the lead. Um, I'm going to bring Dragapult. Actually, I think I'd rather go Rillaboom for the lead. Just for Fake Out. And then bring Luxray and probably Dragapult. That does sound really nice. It does sound really nice. Yeah, I'm with this. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Pretty dope team we're going up against. Like, that's super off meta. So I love versing teams like that. But with Luxray, hopefully I can do some big time damage. The one problem I do have with this team is the lack of protects. Like, Luxray doesn't have a protect. We got our two choice Pokemon who both don't have a protect. Rillaboom doesn't have a protect. Uh, Primarina, I think, actually has a protect, which is good, but we're not bringing it here. But we have a lack of protects right now. They go Scissor and Hypno. We end up going King Gambit and... And Rillaboom. Um, from here, I think a Sword Chance is just a good setup. Because they're definitely scared of this uh, King Gambit. So I'm just going to fake out and go for a Sword Chance setup here. Because I think Hypno has a chance of swapping. Or even Terrasalizing. I'm kind of scared of what like Hypno does. Because I've never versed it in on like the rank ladder. So I feel like it definitely has a few tricks up its sleeve. But I'm gonna say he, he like swaps, maybe protects. Like he's staring down the face of King Gambit, who's super effective into that. Let's see what he's got. Is he gonna put me to sleep? He's gonna terrestrialize it. We'll see a big time terror pop out here for turn one from them. It's gonna be Hypno. Hypno going into fairy typing. So that's kind of the dodge the uh, dark moves. That's fine. Maybe I should have faked it out. It's scaring me, man. It's scaring me. I don't really know what it's up to. Fake out, gonna fly into the scissor slot. Not very effective, but we're using it for the flinches. And I'm able to outspeed the Hypno and pop a Sword Dance, which is gorgeous. The so Sword Dance here. And Trick Room flies. So he's here to set up Trick Room. Is Trick Room coming out and about? Um, hmm. Trick Room is here. Cathal Cleave can do some nice damage. I'm gonna attack the scissor with this shot. And honestly, I might fire Terror and just go for a Wood Hammer. I think that's more so my play. Just Fire Terror because you're probably looking to go for like a bug move here, right? Just to take out Robum X Scissor Bug Bite. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna we're hitting this terror button right now. Wood hammer down this hypno. Like again, hypno's just scaring me. He's just scaring me. So he ended up popping Trick Room. It could it could work for his Embor. Embor's a slow, fast hitter. With I think Reckless has his ability, which actually makes us do big time damage with moves that do recoil. 
But we're gonna terrasize the rover and go straight into fire type. Second no he's gonna launch here. Dude, decent damage, but we can't heal anymore. And we're gonna be able to land a Kaltau Cleave before Scizor even attacks and just dump on it. So that's a big time KO for us. Bye bye, Scizor. Get on out my face. Woodhammer now launches. This should do a monstrous amount of damage in the terrain and do a KO. I do not. Hypno is actually pretty bulky. He takes a nice chunk of recoil. Um, he is going to get back HP. My Rollaboom cannot because it's prevented from healing from Psychic Noise, which is such a cool move. I think that's such a cool idea that you can prevent Pokemon from healing. I send out their next Pokemon. There's that Embor that I was scared of. There's that Embor I was scared of. So I'm just going to protect you. And I'm just gonna go for high horsepower. We're kind of just like trying to waste out turns, chunk up some damage all around. I could end up swapping King Gambit if I want to. But I mean, protect this turn is just definitely the easy play, right? They're definitely looking at me like, hey, I'm gonna drop a Flare Blitz in this slot. But I'm gonna try to get off a high horsepower before we maybe have to pull the trigger to swap. Because I can intimidate him with Luxray, which could be good news. And then hard swap back out. Got a lot of different options here. Right now, we're just trying to waste out the trick room turns. Should protect from my King Gambo. They definitely see it as a threat too, because you know we sort of stand us up. And he's gonna go for a low kick. Honestly, we might be able to soak up a low kick. Actually, probably not. Dark and steel, not looking too good. <laughs> Second though, he's gonna launch here again. Do respectable damage, nothing crazy. And we're gonna be able to get off this high horsepower. Bop, big time damage. That's nice. Honestly, can sucker punch KO? Do I sucker punch grassy glide that thing? I kind of want to give it a try. I kind of want to give it a try. I know they're both not very effective. But I think we give it a try. Let's give it a try. Screw it. Let's give it a try. Let's see how we do here. Sucker Punch launches. And Sucker Punch by itself KOs. Alright, cool. Cool. I was going to say, there's a chance that this doesn't KO. But Sucker Punch by itself just picked the KO. Grass Sky Gun launch. We do a little bit more damage to you. And he's going to second noise me down. And I'm low on HP now. Low on HP. But this is looking like a easy win for us. This is looking like an easy win. Because I think Sucker Punch could KO the Hypno now. We just didn't allow him to really do any damage in his trick room. Gardevoir comes out here. I have no steel moves, which really bothers me. No steel moves for me. And he's going to go for Defiant. He's going to trace my Defiant. So I don't have any steel moves. And I'm just going to Sucker Punch, look to KO you, and double down with Grassy God. We're just going to double down again with first turn priority. We're just going to waste out the Trick Room and win this game. Honestly, Trick Room kind of helps us here. Gardevoir is rather faster than most Pokemon. Or, I should say, faster than my Pokemon. The Sucker Punch launches again. Bye-bye, Hypno. Get it on out my face. Dropping you all day. Um, I'm curious to see what this uh, Gardevoir goes for. Grass Guide launch is probably going to do respectable damage. Maybe about half. Exactly half. The Moonblast now launches and going to keep my King Gambit alive. So we're going to pick up a sweep here in match number one. I really wanted to get out Luxray, but Roll Boom and King Gambit were just going nuclear here. No problem. No problem here. The Trick Room's gone. And I think Gardevoir is fastest on the field so I mean we're just gonna sucker punch now and go for a not a grassy glide because grassy train did end and they just canceled the match so again sweeping match number one we didn't get to use Luxray let's go use him in match number two match number one went perfectly well almost perfectly we didn't get to use Luxray which I'm gonna be doing here in match number two they got defiant on King Gambit now do I want to lead Luxray I kind of do, but I'm going to need something to deal with that King Gambit. So to be honest, we could just go like Dragapult with Luxray here. You don't have clear body, but you're special attacking, which is great. So I'm going to go Luxray. I am going to go in with Dragapult here. I think that's a solid lead for us. And then in for late game, who do I want? They got a lot of Dragon types. Primarina's got to be here. Oh my God, they got three Dragon types. Primarina, 100%. 100% Primarina, and last but not least, we could go Robo. We could honestly go King Gambit here as well. Sucker Punch could work wonders. I mean, they also have a lot of Dark types, so maybe just like Dragonite's big time for us. I like Dragonite. I like Dragonite. So, two choice Pokemon. We're leading Luxray with Dragapult here. We have Primarina, who could be really clutch for us, especially with all the Moon Blasts, but we're really hoping that they're not leading King Gambit because I would hate the Defiant boost. And if they do, I mean, I could just like choice in a Fire Blast and look to just KO King Gambit. That could work well for us. But they're going to go Hydreigon and Robin, which is totally fine by me. 
they are just going to fake out my Luxray here. So I might just want to hard swap Luxray. Just get off or save Intimidate for later. That could be good. That could definitely be lovely. The Grassy Surge is going to fly out here. I could Terrasalize, and I'm thinking of doing that into fighting and just, you know, putting the punchies on you. I'm going to end up doing that. And I'm just going to swap into Dragonite here. I wish I had Protect. I could stay in here and just, like, start snarling or just, like, use Ice Fang. But honestly, I think we just go into Dragonite here. I really do. I think we just save our Luxray for Intimidates later. So I'm going to swap it into the back end. We're going to Terrestrialize our lovely little Pult just to deal with this uh, Hydreigon here. And we'll probably see a Double Terra, to be honest. To be honest, I'm kind of hoping that Hydreigon's not rocking Fairy Terra. I'd rather it be like Poison. So my fighting move could still do respectable damage. But I'm actually hoping it doesn't Terrestrialize at all. That'd be huge. So we end up Terrestrializing. <clears throat> There's their terrestrialization. Knew that was coming all day. Hydreigon, what typing you got here? What typing you got here? Gonna be steel. That that's perfect. That's perfectly fine by me. Fighting move still gonna be super effective. Just the luck of the draw here for us. There's that Terra Blast. It's gonna launch. No fake out comes out here. No fake out. Terra Blast flies here. I love the animation for this. And it KOs with the choice specs. Beautiful. Bye bye Hydreigon. Bye bye Terra. Turn one. Real Boom's minus one on attack, which is nice for us. And what are you going for here? You're going to go for a knockoff. So you're going to take off my choice specs item. Now I can send Fire Blast. Now I can send Fire Blast. Is that what you want it? Is that what you want it? Is that what you want it? If they go into another physical attacker, I'm probably just going to swap in Luxray. But they're going to go into Dragapult. Now Dragapult, looking a little rough here. But how fast is my Dragapult? Because if I can outspeed their Dragapult, I'd rather just Shadow Ball. And then get back out Luxray. Let's see, how fast are you, Dragapult? What you got cooking? You're maxed out on speed. You are maxed out on speed. Actually, you're not. You're not jolly. But I still like the speed with you. So I'm just going to go Shadow Ball here. And I'm just going to hard swap Dragon Knight back into Luxray. Just so we can intimidate this, uh... This is... Or this, uh, Robum again. So back into Luxray. If this thing's not clear body, that could also be good. But this thing's 100% got to be clear body. 1,000%. Yeah. Okay, so clear body pops out here. Roll boom. Take another intimidate to the face. Grassy guy gonna launch. Do a little bit of damage. And he's gonna outspeed us. So Dragon Darts isn't gonna KO my Luxray. Is it gonna KO my Dragon Pole? It does not. That is huge. Nothing bigger than that. There's that one tap there. And now Roll Boom's sitting on the field with minus two attack. That's nothing bigger than that. Nothing bigger than that. So the Robo is pretty much out for the match unless it gets some crits here. Uh, we'll see who their final Pokemon is. And if it's a special attacker, it's not going to be. It's going to be Bax Caliber. I was going to say we could just start snarling it down. But he's obviously just wants to go for a Grassy Glide. So I might just want to go into like Dragon in here. Or I could just let Dragapult take this Grassy Glide. I don't think that's that, that big of a deal. If you want to die out the grassy guy, that's no big deal. And then we could just, you know, rip an Ice Fang or send a Wild Charge. Ice Fang's probably your best bet. Let's just deal some damage on this roll boom. So there's the grassy guy. Bye bye Dragapult. Probably bye bye Lux right here. But we're sitting in a great position to win this game now. We got Prima Arena. We got roll boom minus two. We got Dragonite ready to roll. And he's going to go for a Dragon Dance. Okay, so now things are getting a tad bit scarier here. <laughs> that is definitely a tad bit scarier. A fast Max Caliber ready to attack. Speed's going to boost up. Ice Fang going to launch. And do respectable damage. So I get back some HP. What's the plan here? Do I just go into Dragon Knight? Oh, I got to go Primarine here, correct? Yeah, we just got to try to send a Moon Blast. They don't have Terra. So I got to try to rip a Moon Blast. Helping Hand Moon Blast? I know he wants to go for Grassy Glide. Could just protect this turn. Which I am going to do. I'm going to protect Primarina. Try to get my Intimidate back. I feel like they have to double down into Primarina. I feel like that's a must. I feel like they're sitting here like, okay, if this thing Moon Blasts me, I, I, I'm I dead and I lose the game. But Baxcalibur is just going to protect. That's fine. That's fine because I can Intimidate Baxcalibur now. I can just go right back into Luxury and Intimidate. He's going to go for the Woodhammer in the slot. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, I'm going to go right back into Lux right here. I'm going to intimidate both of these guys. Unless you're clear Emmett, which you definitely could be. But I'm just going to go for the Moonblast here. So Moonblast coming out here. I'm going to go right back into Lux right. Intimidate roll boom yet again. Minus three. Hopefully no clear at, or hopefully yeah no clear amulet on Max Caliber, bringing it back down to even on attack board. And I guess we'll find out. So Luxray back here, Intimidate just so good, it's just so good. We're bringing back at Luxray, no clear amulet. That's huge for us. So back even on attack board for Max Caliber, minus three for you, and he's gonna go for an Icicle Spear, which actually probably gonna KO me, right? You're loaded dice. No, I got Citrus Berry. Yo, Citrus Berry so clutch. Citrus Berry so clutch. So clutch. So we're gonna be able to eat up this Icicle Spear. And Primarina gonna be able to do some big time damage. Woodhammer's gonna fly. This is not gonna KO us. Is that a crit? That just did that much damage. Minus three. Oh my lord, I hate this game. Moonblast flies, Bax Calibur gone. That's the game now. Great place from us intimidating multiple times. And I feel like if we didn't intimidate that third time, that roll boom's KO in our pre marina. Woodhammer does so much damage in the terrain. It is insane. Like, you were minus three doing that much damage. That should be illegal. That should be illegal. That should be illegal. But now we can rip a moon blast here. I can also go into yet another Ice Fang. And did they cancel match? They might just stay in here. They're gonna stay in here. Ice Fang gonna launch, bringing it down to low yellow. Woodhammer gonna pile through. He's gonna take some mean recoil. He's gonna KO my pre marina. But this game's over. My luxury outspeeds. They don't have no Terra. And perfect performance from Luxray in match number two. Intimidating three times? Come on, man. That's huge. That is huge. And we still have our choice band Dragonite right here for East Speeds. Right here for East Speeds. But you know I'm bringing out that Aerial Ace. So I'll go Aerial Ace. I'll go Ice Fang. They stay on the field. Luxray going to pick up the final KO. So GG's to our opponent. We're sitting 2-0. Moving on to our final match for today's video, another off-meta team. Absolutely love these battles in today's video. Quagsire with Gengar. Really dope. They also have Hisuian Zork, which I fall for the illusion every time. They got Umbreon, Belly Bolt, and last but not least, Crocodile. A little bit of Crocodile action. So, not too many physical attackers. I mean, Luxray still could be solid here, especially because, you know, it has Snarl. So, I might just end up leading it and just, like, Snarl spamming. I think that's a solid play for us. So, I'm going to go into you. Um, also, for my lead, I could go King Gambit, or I could just lead, like, Primarina. I got to watch out for, like, Water Absorb on Quagsire. That can get ugly real fast. Um... Huh. I like... Hmm, who do I like? Because Umbreon's looking annoying here. But I like King Gambit, especially if I can set up that sword stance. Which I am going to give it a try. So I'm going to go into King Gambit. I'm going to bring Prima Arena. And last but not least, got to go Dragapult again. So is this the same squad? Almost same squad. Almost same squad. But hey, we're 2-0. Luxray was showcasing that last match. Intimidating like crazy. Doing big time damage with Ice Fang. We're here to use it again, looking for that 3-0 perfect record. Now, I absolutely love Luxray. I think it's such a fun Pokemon every time I use it on the rank ladder, and it's like maybe once a year now at this point, because it's really not that good. I mean, it's good, but there's a lot of off or a lot of more meta Pokemon that does what it does better. Hopefully that makes sense. We're going to end up seeing Crocodile here, who also has Intimidate. Which, right? You have Intimidate? Will that Define boost me? No, you're not. So this could be like Anger Point. Could be a lot here. Um, Crocodile is ground type, isn't he? Which is a little scary on my end. Yeah, you're ground dark. Do I terrestrialize you? I think I just start attacking it. I'm going to Ice Fang it. And I'm going to go for this Kaltak Cleave into this Gengar slot. I think it might do something here. He's going for Destiny Bond. I was going to say, Sucker Punch might not work. So we'll see what he wants to do. So Destiny Bond going to fly out here. Flame Thrower going to rock. He should soak this King Gambit. Okay, cool. King Gambit's able to soak that. And Ice Fang able to fly across and do great damage. That's solid damage. Oh, and that's Zoroak. I, I, man, it gets me every time. Every time it gets me. Chow Tack Leave launches. We know they have Crocodile now, and we take out Gengar. But we got sad news here, guys. Real sad news. Destiny Bond's going to take out my King Gambit as well. All right, that's fair. That's fair. So we know they have Crocodile. We're going to have to play off of that, and I think going into, like, Prima Arena is probably our best bet, and just saving our choice specs Dragapult for late game. So we'll see what they want to do here. I do have Grass Terror type on to my Luxray, which is good news. Belly Bolt's going to fly out here. And we're going to go into Prima Arena. So Prima Arena on the field. 
three Marina on the field. So I think Snarl is just like our best play here, especially up against these special attackers. And we could just go into like a seal typing here. And I could throw a spray pop. I like it. Crocodile is going to be like that one Pokemon that, that's going to give us a tough time. But I'm thinking right now if I can take out both these Pokemon on their team, my Dragapult can handle that problem. That's, that's kind of where my head's at. Because I was going to save Terra for like Luxray. But I think getting rid of this Belly Bowl and this uh, Illusion Zork is in our best interest. But they're going to Terrestrialize as well as us. And they're going to go into Belly Bolt. What type you got, Belly Bolt? Belly Bolt Flying. A little bit of Flying Terra for Belly Bolt. Which, I mean, I have Electric, but you have Electromorphous. How, what is that? I forget that move, but Bitter Malice comes out here. Such a dope move. It's going to lower my attack stat. And Snarl is just going to launch. So, good thing we were just dealing damage onto these guys with Snarl. Dropping special attack. But I believe, yeah, Belly Bolt can't get hit by Electric Boots. Yeah, it's Electromorphous. Snarl charges it. Actually, not too sure. Hyper Voice flies. Belly Bolt, oh, wow. Charging is charging up here. Belly Bolt's here. Belly Bolt's scaring me. I got that Throat Spray popping. Luxray probably going to die here. I hope not. I hope to be able to get off another Snarl. He's going to go for a Discharge. Yeah, I'm able to soak pretty well. All right, cool. So I soak that pretty well. My Citrus Berry flies through. Bring this back up to half. And Crocodile is going to come out here for its last Pokemon. So Crocodile can't Terrasilize, which is really good. So if I can hit this thing with like an Ice Fang and a, uh, and a Hyper Voice, that could be really good. That could be really good. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Go Moonblast instead. I'm going to go Moonblast. I probably should have went for Hyper Voice just in case Protect, but now this works out fine. Vice Fang launching, doing great damage. We love you. Critical hit. Critical hit on the Luxray. And EQ's flying. Oh, man. Wasn't expecting the EQ problem here. That's double KO. Yeah, we're probably going to lose this one. Critical hit on my Primarina, but we were dead regardless. EQ flying. Really hurts the soul. So at least we went 2-1 for today's video. Actually, I mean, Dragapult. Dragapult has a shot at clutching us up. Dragapult definitely has a shot at clutching us up. This thing is Moxie. Dragapult is fastest on the field. This thing's just going to spam Discharge. I need choice into, like, the perfect move, which would be Dragon Pulse, right? Dragon Pulse would be in our best interest. Yeah, I got to take out this Crocodile first and foremost. So we're going to attack it. Hope it doesn't protect. The Dragon Pulse going to fire with the choice specs. Sucker Punch going to fire. You got Sucker Punch. Do you have Sucker Punch as well? You got a crit. What is up with these crits? You do not. So Dragon Pulse can fly. We can eat up another Sucker Punch, which is really good news for us. We can eat up another Sucker Punch, which is great news for us. But the problem here is two Sucker Punches. That's the main problem. And I'm choosing to this Dragon Pulse now. <laughs> I'm choice. He's not going to go for Sucker Punch here, which is good news. Dragon Pulse going to do. We need one more here. Can we dodge a move? That's really what we need. Terra Blast going to fire. And that's going to be game. Even though this might not even KO us, it could KO us. Sucker Punch can just finish us off. So yeah, there's that. GG's. I gotta spam Dragon Pulse. Don't go for Sucker Punch. Make a stupid mistake. Nope, there's Sucker Punch. GG's to our opponent. Belly Bolt getting after this Pokemon is always surprisingly bulky. But hey, I'll take a 2-1 winning record all day long. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Luxray in ranked Regulation H. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Used it well today. Got some KOs. Picked up some wins. Nothing more you guys could ask for with Luxray. Now, this team was really strong all around. I mean, you had King Gambit, Primarina, Rollaboom, Dragonite, and Dragonpult. A lot of meta Pokemon here, but I feel like they all synergized perfectly well with Luxray, which made us get that winning record. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.